One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. Red Alliance side showing you Blaze Robotics Cubit out of LV, Washington. Along Ugandan students represented the country at the Vax Robotics World Championship in Dallas, USA and March 2nd in the science category. The students and scholarships are the top U.S. technology universities, medals, certificates and national recognition. The founder of Young Engineers Uganda, Arinaitwe Rujindo, told UBC they are rolling out the program in schools to nurture the next generation of scientists. We we'll focus on inspiring the next generation of scientists, the next generation of Ugandan innovators, the next generation of uh, Ugandan problem solvers, because we know that to address the challenges of our time, to address the issues that be, that be deck the 21st century work. We need to prepare skilled people that appreciate science and technology at a very young age. We've done so many programs here in the country and uh, we got an opportunity to showcase our talents at the world stage. So we had to take the children to the VEX Robotics World Championship that happens in the USA every year. We went last year, 2023, and were invited again for 2024. You know, they are creating their career pathways now, so it's uh, encouraging them to take on science courses, science careers, STEM careers. So. The teenagers competed with 88 other teams in the science and technology division, maths, research, design, and engineering. I really learned how to work with other people cooperation because you know you weren't only going to work with your teammates who you had you had come with you were going to work with alliances like our alliances were made up of two teams so the first team was us then the other team was another like team well at Rex Robotics I learned so many things but the most interesting was programming so like at school when I go to school it's really like easy for me but before I joined Rex it would be really hard I would get like 60s and 70s but when I joined Rex it would be really easy and also cooperation. Helen's program is all about designing, programming robots, uh, communicating with each other, strategizing, sharing ideas and connecting with others. I built a model of the street sweeper where it sweeps but at the same time vacuums the dust. So therefore we have maybe one person inside the machine driving it and controlling it and then there's no one on the, on the, on the street you know, bending, inhaling the dust, getting allergies, sneezing. Uh, yeah, and I did win an award for that science fair, for that science fair project because it was innovative. Uh, this program has helped me think under pressure, uh, think critically. Uh, problem solved because those are the key aspects which the new curriculum is looking for. So it has helped me with my school life in that way uh, to go through school better, understand the new curriculum more. In my daily life, obviously, it has exposed me to stuff like mechanics, robotics, which is a very fascinating topic for me. The VAX Robotics World Championship, hosted at the K. Bailey Hatch Convention Center in Dallas, converged over 2,200 teams from more than 50 countries. The Ugandan team is yet to prepare for another competition in China. The teenagers are from the Young Engineers Uganda STEM Education Program. We have the CMET Marine Robotics Competitions, which is going to take place in Tennessee, uh, July. We have the Pan-African Robotics Competition. It will take place in Dakar, Senegal in July. We have the Pan-African STEM Competitions. It will take place in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. We have the Enjoy AI Robotics Competition and it will take place in China. Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.